The federal opposition leader, Bill Shorten, will tonight deliver his budget reply speech, his economic pitch as the nation's alternative prime minister. He's described Scott Morrison's budget as unfair, but the government says Labour can't pay for all its spending without raising taxes. From Canberra, political reporter Matthew Doran. There's a certain last day of school feeling on Capitol Hill today. Who won, boys? <laughs> the coalition. Of course. <laughs> and for some members and senators, it could be their final bow on the stage that is federal parliament. Last one, eh? <laughs> Thank you for your encouragement, you bastard. <laughs> I didn't mean it. Like that. I meant for this year. You oh, might, yeah, you, that's right. Yeah. You, you might be back. Miracles oh, happen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, off you go now. But before the caravan rolls out of town, one final showpiece performance. Bill Shorten tonight uh, needs to outline very clearly just how much more he's going to spend. Yeah. After the Treasurer's economic monologue was delivered on Tuesday... This cannot be just another budget. It's now time for the opposition leader to have his right of reply and his supporting cast have rehearsed their lines. This is a budget that is for millionaires, not for battlers. This is a budget that enshrines the unfairness of the 2014 budget. Bill Shorten's play for the Prime Ministership will focus on that theme of fairness, and disappointment to the government's leading man hasn't delivered the hope once promised. The Treasurer argues the alternative budget plotline will hit Australians hard. Every moment you see Bill Shorten's lips moving tonight, um, he'll be spending more, which means he'll be taxing you more. Labor is pushing the line that the coalition is protecting the interests of its key audience, the top end of town and big business. The Prime Minister said that the Treasury has not identified the dollar cost of the centrepiece of his budget, the 10-year tax cut for big business. It's in the budget. Malcolm Turnbull doesn't want to overact that scene. I'm not going to add to the detail that is in the budget papers. As soon as Bill Shorten finishes his speech tonight, Malcolm Turnbull has a clear run to ask the Governor-General to call a poll for the 2nd of July. And there's some money left in the kitty to share around as the eight-week campaign begins. There's an outrageous $1.6 billion war chest of election bribes buried in the budget papers. If you live in a marginal seat, you won't be able to get out of your front door for all the pork over the next few weeks. Some of it might even be flying. Good morning, everybody. Some believe pigs will fly before Clive Palmer gets re-elected. That's not true, that's just a media beat-up. He's not recontesting his lower house seat, but hasn't ruled out a tilt on a different stage, the Senate. That's all dependent on his wife giving him the OK. I've got to take her out to dinner and see what she says. Photographers or cameramen make redundant. We want you to stay here. One character who may be departing stage left. You can't pick up my wife. Matthew Doran, ABC News, Canberra. I'm the ugly one.